So as a member of the Ring Fit Adventure community, I often see a lot of people mentioning certain areas of the game that are tough or, well, just kind of nasty with their mechanics. And honestly, I don't think I've seen anything mentioned more than the Break All Robots challenge to do with the minigame Smackback. This mission, with the novice versions being found in World 6 and World 9, requires you to smack all of the discs thrown at you back at the robots to break them. If you miss a disc or you don't hit it hard enough, you fail. Having played and failed this mission more than my fair share, yeah, it's really tough, it's really frustrating, but we can maximise our chances of success with some tips and techniques, so let's quickly talk through this, figure out the best way to do this and complete this mission. I'm putting my completed recording of the World 6 version of this mission at the end of the video. If you want to see the timing and such, there's a timestamp in the description. So the game of Smackback is cool in concept. You stand in your little arena and these robots appear throwing discs at you. You wait for the discs to get within range of the fan that your character is holding and then you smack them back at the robots by twisting your body. If you hit them right, they'll fly back at the robots and break them, getting 100 points. If you don't, they'll either hit you, losing you points, or they'll just kind of flop. You get like 50 points, but you don't break the robot. There are two types of robot. There's red and there's blue. Red throws the discs straight at you, but blue throws them in like a, a curve in an arc. You'll need to look at what robot is throwing and act accordingly. If we look at the movement mechanics of Smackback, it's very similar to the standing twist fit skill, just without the constant motion and with the ring in a vertical, not horizontal position. So twisting to the side will mean that your avatar will twist to the side as well. The ring con controls the fan essentially, so I found to get the best stance for this, we practice standing twist. So stand neutral with a slight flex in your knees, brace your core and create the movement with your arms and shoulders. Now you'll feel a slight twist with your hip, but that is good because that is your full body working. Where the standing twist uses that near constant back and forth movement, smack back theoretically only involves sharply swinging one way at a time and then swinging back when another disc requires it. The other mechanic the game will tell you about moving slowly back to the middle and pointing the ring con down will allow you to recenter. However, you don't need to recenter to complete this mission. That is the biggest key here. So recentering is useful at some points, sure. Like you, once you've moved to one side, you'll naturally want to recenter. But you don't have to. You see, the ring con is very sensitive when it comes to the movement here. When you recenter, you have to do it very slowly because if you don't, if you do it at any sort of speed, it will register as the ring twisting. This can leave you physically in your starting position, but with the avatar and the fan out at the side. Now this is where a whole heap of the frustration comes in because you're in the wrong position and by the time you've corrected that a disc is flying at you and you miss it and you can't hit it properly so the key here is that when you twist to smack a disc if there is another robot on screen don't recenter just stay in that position and then swing all the way to the other side to hit the next disc it may mean a few twists are very fast but that's fine if all the robots are gone on screen then if you want to recenter you can just as long as you do it slowly the main key key tip here is don't recenter unless you have to now, once you are good with not recentering, the other tip is knowing your timing. Now, this is where it's down to you and your body building that sort of skill, because I can't teach you the timing. You'll need to be familiar with the speed of the red robot discs and the blue robot discs. The blue discs with their arc are quite deceiving with how fast they come at you, so you'll need to familiarize yourself with that. I feel that the mix of red and blue near the end with those constant twists is where things get really tricky. But once you're familiar with the timing, good with that twist movement, and are good with not recentering the fan, you'll be able to break all the robots and complete this mission. And honestly, that's it. That's how we're going to beat this. It's timing and knowledge on the mechanics, but you can do it. I believe in you. The mechanics can be frustrating and you may fail a few times and then a few more, but it's all good, partly because you still gain experience for each failed attempt at the side mission. So you can almost use the failure to power level yourself. Built tip for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got comments, questions, post them in the comments and I'll answer what I can. If you found this informative, please like and subscribe for more guides and ring fit content. I'll post the video of me completing this challenge now. So yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.